Trey Stowe, Director of Transportation Operations for Fulton County Schools. We operate 930 buses for the whole district, half diesel, half propane. The school bus is the safest mode of transportation. Waiting to get them on and in that loading process, that's where the most danger is still at its highest. We're in an age of distracted driving more than ever. We calculated over 900 violations in one day of running stop arms this past school year with our district alone. We were able to implement and work with City of Alpharetta, Applied, Audi, and all these other different manufacturers to test and see what the future could hold. We worked with them on our stop arm notifications. So anytime the bus comes up, makes a stop to load or unload students, it was sending a signal to the Audi vehicle, letting it know that the bus was stopped ahead. And this helps give us control and helps notify other motorists that, hey, there's something you need to be aware. Atlanta traffic is notorious. If you can continue to keep that bus moving, keep it flowing through traffic, and it's not taking those times to stop, that was the key part, getting them priorities. So the buses were getting there quicker and it helps our student delivery because anytime we have buses rolling in late to a school, that takes away from their learning capabilities. They serve breakfast at the schools. And so a lot of those students that rely on that as their first meal of the day. The quicker you can get the bus there, it gives that child an opportunity to get in there, get into the lunchroom and actually have that first meal of the day so they can get their day started off correctly. The last thing would be what kind of possible fuel savings there might be. We use roughly around 25,000 gallons a week, $4 a gallon for diesel fuel. We saw quite a bit in reduction of fuel consumption. And so if we, across the fleet or across the implementation, was able to save 10% on that, you're looking at 2,500 gallons there. So you could definitely see a significant savings over a full year. Going forward, if it's something that we can work with the bus manufacturers, we get the auto manufacturers to pick it up as well. And then of course, your municipalities and your districts and the state as well to have the infrastructure there. But if we get it all together, and if we save one child's life off of it, that should be worth it right there. I know if it was my child, I would definitely want it there. That's the key is saving lives and saving the lives of our school children.